Hi, this is David Bonacciardo. Welcome to video 2B, which is the second video devoted to the quantitative analysis topic for the 2012 Financial Risk Manager exam. It published on March 24, and we continue in sequence of the study guide. Now, obviously, this is only part a part one topic, and we are still in Introduction to Econometrics by Stock and Watson. I mentioned on the previous video that GARP has assigned the brief edition of this textbook which is a subset of the third edition textbook. If you have the third edition, it's not, you're not going wrong to use the, uh, the superset, which has a little more detail. In fact, that's what I'm using. I like it a little better than the brief edition, but n there's, uh, not any material difference from an exam perspective. So we have four chapters, although it's all about regression. Right, we have linear regression in one regressor, or we could say one independent variable. And then a multivariate regression in several uh, independent variables or regressors. As usual, learning spreadsheets, and so I retain the 2A from the prior video, and then the two additional spreadsheets for th that correspond to this video 2B, which is single variable and multiple, var multiple variable linear regression examples in the learning spreadsheets. Okay, so chapter four, linear regression with one regressor. We start, some would call this a univariate regression. Unfortunately, this is also, also could be called a two variable regression because we have a dependent variable as a function of an independent variable. So you see how in this univariate regression, we have two variables. Also, just a small example of why we want to stay flexible in the FRM. GARP has retained this aim from uh, several years, actually, even before we were using this Stock and Watson textbook back to the Gujuarte text, Gujuarte text. And he used different terms. So he, he used dependent and independent, or even actually also um, explained and explanatory. Now, Stock and Watson use a third set of terms. I personally find them find these awkward, but regressand for the dependent and regressor for the independent variable. But we have synonyms, so we fully have actually three terms. An example, I want to stay flexible. This dependent variable here could be the explained or the regressand. This independent can be the explanatory or the regressor. But in either case, we have an example here of what I would like to call a univariate uh, a regression. This and the theory that this test score is explained by here. We have a coefficient that we would uh, commonly know as the intercept plus the slope here coefficient multiplied by the regressor variable. So we're going to be estimating these two coefficients. Right. Notice the difference between the coefficient and the variables. And then we're going to have another term here for the other factors. So we'll see about that later because easy to gloss over this uh, other factors, this noise or error term here. Easy to gloss over that, but it's actually you know, we've seen the import, assumptions very important what we assume about this. And in other words, there's a lot of information in here. And we also could say um, in in common common speech wise, we could say test score is regressed on class size. See how that is. We regress the dependent on the independent. Or if you like, this is because this is the y-axis regressed on the x-axis. So our dependent here, that's y of 1, which we just called um, in this awkward, I think, stock and watch and terminology. Remember, we called this the regressand. Okay, the regressand is regressed on the regressor. In this case, there's only one regressor. We have two variables, but it's a univariate regression. And then we have two parameters, intercept coefficient and slope coefficient. And they use B of 0 here, B of 1 here. I should say beta, shouldn't I? Beta 0, beta 1. But so... Uh, symbolically, if you're new to this, we have to stay flexible to this as well. It would also be just as common to have this as alpha. This could be B of 1. This could be B of 2. Really have to stay common. I mean, I'm sorry, we really have to stay flexible with respect to um, these Co the notation for this coefficient, although although it would be pretty typical to see here, you'll notice where you see. 